Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. We have Zuby starting in the upper right hand corner as the random Zerg. So he went random, he got Zerg, he's starting purple upper right hand corner. He is from the Royal University of Sweden. Uh, so I believe that's who he's representing. Upper left hand corner, we have Peking University represented by DPR, and this is going to be on Colosseum. And unfortunately, drawing Zerg and random on Colosseum, pretty sizable advantage just because of the metagame. So it uh, looks like he is going to scout the proper direction as well with that Overlord. Colosseum is a very economy-based map, and uh, it's just kind of normal going against Protoss and Terran to go for more of a 12-hatch build just because it's you got to catch up, you got to keep up an economy. Um, and if you go for the other builds, a 9 pool, um, even a 12 pool, you can end up economically behind. Um, against Zerg, sometimes you can pull a 12 pool, but not when that scout's coming directly. Well, I don't know, sometimes you can, depending on how you defend it, but uh, it's a lot more difficult to, to basically hold off. So if you go 12 hatch, it's, it just puts you really on the back foot early, um, particularly if Zuby decides to go 9 pool or over pool. 9 pool would put him in a better situation than over pool would even. Uh, we'll see what he decides to do, but it's down to what ZPR does on the opposite end. So I think his best bet is to go for a 12 pool, which is kind of the best of both worlds. He can uh, get his economy going. He'll end up a little bit economically ahead over an over pool or a nine pool. He won't end up in a great position over uh, an over pool. That doesn't put him too far ahead in that regard, but it does put him slightly economically ahead. And the game of Zerg versus Zerg is a game of basically inches, feet, drones, and minerals. Just teeny little differences can make the difference. Teeny little differences can make the difference. That's the best uh, quote and commentary ever. Anyway, it looks like we are going to see a nine pool. I'm sorry, an over pool into spawning pool with some gas on the opposite end. Uh, looks like we're seeing a 12th pool. Let's see if some gas gets added on. Uh, drone scout now being uh, pushed in, so it's going to see what's going on. It's going to see that spawning pool. It's going to see that extractor building, um, and we'll see what. Now I feel like it's kind of into Zuby's. Uh, the ball is in Zuby's court, or the Zergling, if you prefer. He's going to have a couple more troops a little bit sooner. Looks like some gas being added on the opposite end by ZPR as well. But uh, ZPR is going to have that economic edge. He's not going to know that, of course, until that Overlord uh, makes it into his base um, and he gets a good look at that drone saturation. But yeah, he's going to be uh, about 100 gas ahead because of the way, because he just put down that extractor a lot sooner. But he's going to be, um, as far as the mineral count, behind because he doesn't ha he didn't have as many drones earlier. Um, he will have those six Zerglings out significantly faster. The question is, is, will it make a difference at cross positions? And probably not. It looks like a hatchery being added on. Two Zerglings already being morphed, and the next two larvae really need to be spent on a c additional four Zerglings, or maybe a Sutton Colony should be produced um, with this drone that's maybe coming back to home base to really defend against these Zerglings. A Creep Colony going up from Zuby. I guess... Uh, just feeling like he needed to defend himself. I'm not quite sure for what reason. And uh, what drone getting killed actually in the base. The drone scout running up, getting annihilated. I'm not sure why he sent the drone scout with that overlord in that position. Maybe he was thinking about doing an offensive Sutton Colony, not able to get anything done. Um, it's kind of crazy with that many uh, units in position. But now, with uh, actually, he's going to need that because he's seeing that second hatchery. And with that second hatchery that early inside the base, that really suggests we're going to see mass lings uh, into the mid game. Second hatchery being added on by Zuby as well, though. Now he's adding on speed. He's also getting a Sutton Colony of his own. And in this battle, again, that little difference, uh, just having that second hatchery a little bit early, uh, earlier, having a couple Zerglings can really pay off for DPR. And it looks like the Zergling, uh, losing a couple Zerglings carelessly by bad positioning, it looks like the rest of the Zerglings going to have to run back home, and DPR are going to get at least an early positional advantage. The Zerglings trying to run, they're going to try to end around, looks like they're not going to be able to do so, and more and more Zerglings uh, adding in, and it looks like one Zergling just getting separated, taking a bit of additional damage. looks like speed plus a layer on the one end, where um, no layer on the opposite end for Zuby, so Zuby's going to have to dedicate everything with just his Zerglings. He does manage to snip, uh, snip, sneak about five Zerglings around, and it looks like he is going to be able to get a couple drone kills. Uh, maybe, maybe able to get some drone kills. He's at least able to disrupt some mining. He is going to be able to see that lair being built, but he ends up losing all of his Zerglings, so he's going to have to look out for a counterattack. Um, and his lair is going to come out actually significantly later, because this lair is almost finished here um, on the one end versus the lair just beginning on the opposite. And I'm not sure what Zuby can do at this stage against ZPR because ZPR, first of all, has a lot of Zerglings on the ground. Um, I th yeah, he's going to need to produce a couple more Zerglings just to defend against this. Looks like he's trying to create a as much delay as possible. But uh, on top of that, he's going to be facing a grouping of Mutalisks. Um, should that Spire... Oh, come on, put down Spire. Big advantage. A lot of drones actually idling over that patch. Um, just finally now being resuscitated. And uh, yeah, that spire is going to end up, oh, building all sorts of drones instead of putting it on the spire. That's just going to give time. 
uh, more and more time for this layer to go up. So a little bit of a micro, or I guess that would be a macro air technically, um, costing, allowing Zuby to get back in this basically. And it looks like that layer should finish uh, just about the same time. Oh, he should get a spire up um, in not too long, but at least for ZPR, his economy is going to be in really good shape, producing a lot of Zerglings to just take that economic lead. A lot of this, and just trying to test the perimeter. He's got Zuby pretty well contained. Let's see what Zuby can do to try to counter this. And it looks like actually a little bit of a supply lock there for Zuby on the opposite end, uh, a supply lock as well, but mostly filled out with drones rather than actually it might be just about even because of the Zergling count. And still some more idle drones in the mineral line there. They're starting to uh, move there. That's uh, maybe due to saturation, but and another spire, another creep colony going down. Zuby being very defensive. If he does manage to get this to Mutalisk play though, he will end up with an advantage just because he can move his Zerglings forward with his Mutalisks, where basically DPR is going to be stuck with just Mutalisks alone, um, and he's not going to have in the Zerglings, and he's not going to really have any defense in his base, so his Mutalisks can start working against the Zerglings with the other Zerglings underneath his support. He'll end up with more Zerglings uh, ultimately, and then he can just run back in the base. We'll see if that uh, ends up being the case over the long run, but wow, big dedication to additional Zerglings here. Um, just going to try to end it on Zerglings alone, rather than, I'm not sure why he bothered with the Spire uh, with just investing this much into Zerglings, especially when it's about to pop. Um, he's not going to have a lot of, uh, high, first of all, his larva count's not going to be that high, but he's going to have to wait uh, quite a bit of time. He's, I think what he's trying to do is he's going to try to catch uh, Zuby right as he's producing Mutalisks instead of Zerglings. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to crack it, though, not with, uh, first of all, the drones should be able to defend. There's a good amount of Zerglings here on the ground, but I think those Mutalisks are be out, will be out before the rest of these Zerglings really come into full play, and it looks like the rest of the Zerglings are actually, oh, I'm sorry, that was a little bit, I guess they're starting to build a little bit sooner than I was expected. Four Mutalisks already being produced, um, an offensive creep colony of all things at the forward position to try to knock one of these hatcheries down and pull these uh, drones, <laughs> these Zerglings out of position. Three drones um, in the slot trying to help defend, and no Mutalisks being produced whatsoever. So, uh, but they're just assailing these two sunken colonies. One's weak, the other was down. One more, uh, just barely the pulling out. But uh, yeah, Zuby took heavy losses, and I think that's going to give ZPR the game there. He still got about six or seven Zerglings underneath. He managed to kill, disrupt mining that entire time. He's got five Mulisks running up here. Actually, four Mulisks running up here. He's got that offensive Sunken Colony down, and it looks like DPR is, in fact, uh, going to take this match. It's just kind of, uh, and he managed to save his Overlord. It's just going to be inevitable. Uh, it's just kind of a matter of time. And you can take a look at supply counts, 14 versus 38. And uh, he's still need, uh, gonna need to produce something to try to oh, producing scourge instead of doing anything to take care of that sunken colony, which is really his bigger problem right now. Um, so he'll be trying to do what he can by uh, attacking these overlords um, out in the field, but just too many mutalisks running up. The other question is, is how will DPR micro uh, against this? But I think even with the sunken colony taking down that second hatchery, he'll be okay. Uh, ooh, that's a lot of scourge being produced though. But still, that Scourge instead of drones, uh, and that Sutton Colony very much exposed. Uh, and actually, is he hitting the second? What is he attacking? I think this might be just attacking Larva. It's hard to tell underneath that Overlord, though. Um, and uh, Scourge running around, looks like they're able to get... Yeah, he's attacking Larva. Um, that's crazy. Uh, but it looks like these Mulesks are going to get assassinated. They're going to get uh, barreled back by these uh, Scourge at the very least. But I think the best option is just to go all Zergling at this stage. There's only a single creep colony there. Um, Scourge up in the air. The Zerglings, yeah, there's no defense for these Zerglings that are running up. I believe that ZPR has, in fact, taken this game. There's GG. Zuby knows it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.